In this video, we'll look at how to select and then cut or copy and paste text from one application to another. We're going to start with the text that we dictated to the Notes app in a previous video. The first thing we do is go to the rotor. In a previous video, we discussed how to access the rotor using hands. In this video, we're going to get to the rotor using the Bluetooth keyboard that we've paired with our iPad. To get to the rotor, first we have to turn on what's called Quick Nav. Quick Nav is a feature that enables quick navigation around the iOS environment and can be turned on by pressing the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. Top Quick Nav on. Okay, so just a little demonstration. Now, instead of using the voiceover keys plus my arrows left and right to navigate or to move through the screen, I can now use my left arrow alone today, June 25th, 4.33 p.m. to move to the previous element or just my right arrow to move to the next element. Note, text field is editing. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, I'm going to press control to stop the talking. To access my rotor, I'm going to use either the up and left arrow or the up and right arrow. The up and left arrow moves backwards through the rotor counterclockwise, and the up and right arrow moves forwards through the rotor clockwise. And I'm going to move through the rotor until I hear an, a feature called edit. So while I will be accessing the rotor using the keyboard, I'm actually going to do the selecting and copying using my fingers and some hand gestures. Lines. Ca edit. I've gone to the edit mode or the edit setting on the rotor. As you may recall, the rotor changes what a single flick of one finger up or down does. In this case, because we've selected edit, if I flick up or down, it will cycle me through the different edit options that are available on my iPad. So I'm going to do that now. Select. So one flick up is select. Select all. One flick, another flick up is select all. Select. And then, so and then it cycles back down. So these are the two choices here. Once I've selected the text that I want to copy, an additional toolbar with the cut copy buttons becomes available. So I'm going to go to select all. Select all. And double tap with one finger. Select all. Copy. Menu item. So it selected all my text, and as you heard, the cut, copy, and paste toolbar becomes visible on the screen. So I can copy it here, or I can... Copy. Cut. Menu cut. item. Note. Text. Copy. Okay, so there's two options here, cut or copy, because all I've done is select. So I'm going to copy. Copy. Menu item. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the dictate feature available on the new iPad. So what I did is I flicked left or right between the two buttons, cut or copy, and I chose copy and double tapped to select it. Now I'm going to leave this app by pressing the home key. Notes. Double tap to open. And I'm going to go to the mail app in the dock. Dock. Mail. Double tap to open. Mail. Inbox. Mailboxes. Back button. I'm going to look for the compose button, which should be located Move. Dimmed. up button. near the top. Updated. Six slot move. Archive. Reply. Compose. Button. Okay, I'm going to compose. Two. Text field okay. is editing. Once I double tap on the compose button, it takes me, it opens a new email and puts me directly into the to field. I'm just going to send it to myself actually. So I'm going to type in my, my own address here. S. Gus. C. Okay. And then I'm going to flick to the right so I can get to the subject line. Add contact button. If I wanted to add contact, I can do that here. CC slash B subject. CC slash BCC. Right, so I can add a CC or a BCC field if I choose. Subject. Text field. Okay. Double subject. tap to edit. Okay, I'm going to type in the subject text. I'm going to call it dictation text. Capital D. A -C -T -A -T -A -A -T -E -T. And then I'm going to move to the body of my email. I'm going to, I'm going to do this actually using my hands. So I'm going to flick to the right. Cancel. Button. Message body. So now that I'm in the message body, before I can actually paste anything into it, I have to double tap to activate the edit 
mode of this particular field. So anytime we deal with multiple field screens, such as email, where you have several edit fields, you have to move to that particular field and then double tap to edit to be able to edit that particular one. So I'm gonna, I'm in the message body or at least voiceover is in the message body. Now to actually activate the edit field, I'm gonna double tap. It doesn't always make an announcement, but it does have that little, uh, it does make that little chirping sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move away from it and then back to it just to double check. Subject, message body, text field, is editing. Okay, that little notice that where it says is editing tells me that I did it correctly and that I'm now editing this particular field. So now I'm going to use the rotor until I hear the word edit. Typing mode, containers, typing mode, edit. Okay. Once I hear the word edit, I can flick up or down with my finger until I hear paste. And I'm going to do that now. Decrease quote level. Select. Paste. Okay. Let's just go through the options here for a minute. So we have... Select. Select. Paste. Paste. Select all. Select all. Italic. Italics. So it also gives me an opportunity here to change the formatting or the fonts and things like that. Bold. Bold. Underline. Underline. Increase quote level. Increase quote level. Decrease quote level. Decrease quote level. Select. And so I'm just going to go back to paste. Paste. And double tap. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the dictate feature available on the new iPad. In order to make it work, you must connect to the internet via a wire. Okay, and there's our text. In this video, I used the rotor and some hand gestures to select, copy, and paste text from one app to another. An alternate way of performing these functions is using your Bluetooth keyboard. For those of you familiar with VoiceOver and the Mac, you know that the command key is the modifier key for performing many of the editing functions in a text-based document or a text-based app. So in order to select and then copy and paste, we're going to use the command key in conjunction with other keys on the keyboard. So command A will select all, command X will cut, or command C will copy, and then command V will paste into a new document. Okay, and that's editing text.